from week 20. I've been so blessed because I have got to record with Wayne Newton, Jerry Lee Lewis, who is the wildest man on this planet. <laughs> I never will forget, the first time I met Jerry Lee was in 1977, right after a song I did called The King Is Gone about it was Presley. Yep. And so I did a show with... Now imagine this. I had a song called The King Is Gone. You know what it was about. It was about Elvis, of course. And so I was on a show with Jerry Lee Lewis and Hank Williams, Jr. <laughs> Can you imagine how that went? Was you sober? Believe it or not, uh, I had been in a top 40 band for years and years and years. So I knew if I was going to be on the show with them two wild, crazy dudes, I was going to have to do wild, crazy songs, too. You think, I only had one record. <laughs> the King is Gone, that was it. But anyway, I wanted to meet Jerry Lee Lewis and Hank Jr., so I go on the bus. I'm going to tell you all this. I told this on uh, Elvis Radio a couple weeks ago with George Klein. He goes, Ronnie, tell them about the first time you met Jerry Lee Lewis. So I walk up to the bus where they both were. I knock on the door and Merle Kilgore, Hank Jr.'s manager, come to the door and I said, uh, I'd like to meet Jerry Lee Lewis and Hank Williams Jr. He said, well, son, come on up here. They're in the back. Just go back there and knock on the door. I did. The door flung open. Jerry Lee Lewis jumped up and he put his finger right on the end of my nose. Now, now, mind you, this is my first introduction to either one of these guys. They both had four girls among them. <laughs> I'm like, wow, is this the way this is? <laughs> anyway, now, so the door flings open. True story. Jerry Lee puts his forefinger on my nose. He goes, are you a Baptist boy? I said, yes, sir. He goes, well, them Baptists ain't worth a damn. Can you imagine my first introduction? I'm like, here's my hero. He's telling me something like this. He's just aggravating me. He is an aggravating soul, but he's a wild man. But now, uh, after that, he and I became very good friends, and we recorded a song that I wrote called Never Too Old or Rock and Roll. Yeah, but anyway, now here's that song that got me on the show, that got me here tonight. It's called The King Is Gone, about Elvis Presley. Me and Lily Morgan wrote this song. I was barely six years old when I first heard him sing. Sound just a little 